chapter three, lesson one, is multiplying with one digit. Okay, so um, this is technically a review of grade three. So in the succeeding lessons, that's when there's harder multiplications. So just as a review, we need to remember, again, our multiplication tables. We need to keep practicing those. Okay, so we also need to remember our number pairings. So these are 9 and 1, 8 and 2, 7 and 3, 6 and 4, 5 and 5, or vice versa. So these are important in the process of multiplication because we also have to add in the process of multiplication. Okay, so uh, the first lesson comes from page 54. Now, if we have problems where it asks us to multiply and the numbers end with zero, what we want to do is cover the zeros and multiply the other numbers first and then add the zeros at the end. Okay, so to demonstrate that, that's page 54. Okay, so for these problems, if you'll notice, those end with zero. So what we wanna do is just multiply five and one is five, and then add the three zeros. Similarly, 3 times 3 is 9, and then add the 3 zeros. So you can do that mentally. However, there are some other problems where it'll be a little bit harder. So just isolate the numbers that don't have the zeros, and then put the zeros in the end. Okay, but not all problems are like that. So if we look at problem number 3, it says multiply... 4,576 by 8. Okay, so if we want to multiply 4,576 by 8, we can't do that mentally. So what we got to do is write it vertically so that it's computational in form. Okay, so we had taken this up in grade 3. The only difference is the numbers in grade 3 or smaller. So if we start, this will be 8 times 6 is 48. Okay, then this is 8 times 7 is 56 plus 4. So I'm going to put it here so that it's good reference. 7 times 8 is 56 plus 4 gives us 60. So I'm going to put 60 here. Okay, then again, this is 8 times 5 is 40 plus 6. So again, as reference, that's 5 times 8 is 40 plus 6 is 46. Okay, so if our kids are proficient in doing this without writing these down, then they don't need to write these down. But for exercise or at beginning points, we want to do this so that... Um, it stays in their brain cells. So finally, this is 32 plus 4 is 36. So that means when we multiply 4,576 by 8, our product is 36,608. Okay, so let me do one last. This is problem number 4. Um, and it says to multiply. So in this case, I took 3,568 times 9. Okay, so here, again, we can't do that mentally, so we will write it computationally. So computational means it has to be vertical in nature. So if we multiply 9 times 8 is 72. Okay, then I'm going to write it here. This is 6 times 9 is 54 plus 7 is 61. So 1 and then 6. So again, if the kids can do this without writing this down, then that's fine. Okay, so again here, I'm going to put it here, that will be 5 times 9, which is 45, plus 6 
is 51. So that means that's another one, and that's a 5. Okay, and finally, that's 27 plus 5. I need 3 more to get to 30, so that means that will be 32. So which means our answer is 32,112. So again, parents and kids, we need to remember everything that we learned in grade 2. We need to start off by refreshing our multiplication tables because these are very important, as well as our number pairs so that it's easier to add. That concludes lesson 1 of chapter 3. See you in the next lesson.